Hey there. So I'm Sam and someone had a question about how to export a mask out of Substance Painter. So I'm going to go over that process. Uh, so this is very useful for anyone doing 3D work, but uh, I work in, with making VR chat avatars. And so some of the, the things I talk about might reflect that and just kind of, uh, that's my general process, workflow, etc. So the general idea is that we want to create a custom texture. Um, and now that's a little bit different than like uh, their standard PBR textures. But we have here are your kind of generally what you'd see if you bake your textures. But we actually have some other features up here with your channels. Um, so if you want to export something custom, what I recommend doing is creating a user channel. These are super, super handy. Um, and for example, we created user zero. I believe you can actually go in and rename these, but we'll just keep it user zero for standardization. Um, now, what that does is when you look at your layers and we go ahead and add a fill layer, you'll see that we actually have a user zero layer right here. Now, uh, may seem a little bit strange, but just because it's our base layer, I'm actually going to set this to black all the way down to zero because we want it disabled its base layer. And then, uh, for example, if we had a folder, we'll call this our target mask. Um, and this is, this is a fill layer right here. We've got red in there. And I'm not going to change anything other than just the color just to make it simple. And on here, we, of course, have a mask. And in that mask, we can go ahead and paint right here. So we're just going to do a little silly face. Bam. <laughs> just a goofy little smiley face. There we go. And this is our mask. And now we want to export just this mask. Uh, in order to do that, we want to go to our fill layer here and make sure we also have user zero enabled. And this is now set to one. So if we go and just like uh, in our channels here, we can also view our channels up in our viewport and double check how that looks right um, here, zero, zero. And we can see that now we have a black and white mask. Now, the second step to this is exporting it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my export stuff ready. Um, I should have done this before, but that's okay. Perfect substance painter. Export. Let's put it right there. What we really want to do is create a new uh, texture set. So right now, I'll just use PBR. You may be using something different, but whatever your standard is, we're going to want to go to our output templates and duplicate that. So I'll go to that, that PBR, and I'm just going to duplicate it. And then we'll create a grayscale and we'll call this, you can use whatever you'd like. Really to keep everything the same, I'm going to copy and paste uh, the emissive here, paste it there, and then just change emissive uh, to um, user zero. But you can name it whatever you'd like, of course. And then we can go to here. We have our user zero channel. We just drag it in gray channel, and then we just make sure to select that new um, output template that we've created. And then we can go ahead and export. It'll export everything, save. We can go to our folder, and now we have that map uh, on its own layer uh, exported correctly. So that is how I would do that. I do think this is an extremely useful feature because you can pretty much bake any details, any type of filters that you've used um, in a very easy to use way. So hopefully you all find some use from this. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet because I need to go turn on the heater. I'm kind of cold right now. Sorry for shivering. But if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Hopefully I didn't cover up anything with my webcam. I sometimes do that. Um, but either way, thank you for watching the video. Again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. You can also find me on Twitter, YouTube, all with the same name. 
Um, anyway, thank you for your time and have a great day. Bye.